Hi guys, good afternoon, happy Sunday to you, and welcome back once again to The Edward. In today's video, I will be doing once again another trailer reaction uh, where I will be discussing what I thought of the uh, trailer that just dropped. It was released earlier from WonderCon, which is currently going on in Anaheim, California. The cast was there from Fear the Walking Dead to promote season five, and they just released the trailer online. I just got done watching it, and I gotta say, I really liked what I saw, and there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, now, before I begin, of course, uh, for those of you uh, who are uh, caught up on Fear the Walking Dead by this most recent season, season four, if you're not caught up on the show, do not keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers or referring to season four while talking about what I thought of the trailer for season five. So just fair warning, you know. That being said, uh, I really liked it. I really liked what I saw. You know, I thought season four was their best season yet, but it looks like season five might outdo them. You know, so it, sound, it feels like they're they're finally in that uh, that streak that Walking Dead is in, where usually the pr most recent season usually outdoes the the previous one or outdoes the other. Now that hasn't always been the case, but I always feel like they do a pretty good job of delivering an even better season after another for the most part and it looks like fear is keeping that streak going i mean we got a teased we got a teased meeting of uh, morgan and dwight which surprised me that they knew each other's names because looking back on season eight of the walking dead i am trying to remember where or when they might have met or known each other um i think you know what i the only occasion i could think of was when in the season eight uh, finale when uh, the 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 remaining allied forces take on Negan and his saviors and they fight them at that uh, literal uphill battle where uh, Dwight was being held prisoner by Negan and then uh, you know after the saviors fell uh, Dwight went his way and then Morgan went his way but I think uh, I think they knew each other I think they knew who each other were and obviously they knew each other's names but now they're gonna have a chance to really get to know each other as we got a teasing of their meeting and what really pleased me is that Morgan didn't seem surprised or anxious to see him but he actually gave a genuine smile like he was actually happy to see him probably because he hasn't seen any of his old people in a really really long time you know we got a tease of some new characters uh, looks like we've got some uh, new uh, kid characters to look forward to looks like we have a, a group of lost uh, children uh, perhaps orphans uh, just surviving on their own in the apocalypse and uh, we also got a tease of some uh, new enemies as well you know it, it looks like uh, they're about to cross into somebody's territory with the homemade uh, uh, fence or wall that said danger keep out with the three shitty cars and then there were the hanging severed walker heads and then somebody made a line of walkers not even using chains or ropes but I and from the look of it it looks like these walkers were being held together by each other's guts and intestines wrapped around their waists and their necks Ugh, cool book grody <laughs> and then uh there's a plane who still has a plane in the apocalypse how do they keep that running so it, it's like this trailer raised a bunch of questions and i'm sure we'll get the answers to them and it's just all the more reason to get excited and look forward to it and uh speaking of excitement oh my god uh i was uh, i got excited but also incredibly nervous there when it was revealed that it was daniel salazar whom we haven't seen since season three who was pretty much left for dead when the when the the dam uh, blew up and who had the person who has every right and reason to despise and want to kill Victor Strand of all people and he's holding him at gunpoint and it, it's got me wondering if unless he kills Victor in that scene in that episode whenever that is in the season and I hope he doesn't because I like Victor so much he's always been one of my favorites in season one I really hope he doesn't kill him, but I would understand if they if he were to. What reason or who or what could possibly stop Daniel from pulling the trigger? Because in that scene in the trailer, it's obvious he's holding Victor at gunpoint and he says, you talk too much. And for all we know, the trailer cut uh, right before uh, he pulls the trigger and shoots him dead. So that very well could be what happens. Hopefully not. And if it doesn't happen, it's got me wondering and scratching my head, what is going to to stop Daniel from killing Victor. Will it be Victor, Morgan, another 
another character or will it be an unexpected uh, uh unexpected uh stop or like uh something that intervenes like maybe they're attacked by walkers or other hostile survivors who knows but it's very exciting that these two are going to be reunited after almost two uh, almost a whole season of not seeing each other so that's exciting but besides that reunion i'm more excited about morgan and dwight reuniting and uh seeing if uh dwight ever found sherry or if he's still in, if he's still looking for her which is why he has now ended up in texas so i'm very excited it looks like there'll be no shortage of great character uh moments and uh zombie action for this upcoming season we also have a premiere date june 2nd so mark it on your calendars and be sure to check back here on the edward for my uh, season premiere review of this show as well so well guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, trailer for season five as much as i did thank you so much for watching be sure to check back later tonight for my episode review of the walking dead season nine finale that's right the big season finale airs tonight on AMC. You're not going to want to miss it. And not only will it wrap up this season, but it's going to tease of what's to come in season 10. So that's pretty exciting too. Have a great rest of the day if I don't see you. Thanks again for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.